Bernard Tobin here at the Commodity Classic. I am over at Massey Ferguson now catching up with Jessica Williamson. Jessica, how's it going? How's the show? It's going great so far. We're getting a lot of traction right here at, at this double baler. Hey, I want to talk about the SB1436 DB baler. Why don't you explain what all that means? Sure. So this baler was just released two weeks ago. This is our SB1436 DB, so SB square baler. 1436 is going to be the size of the chamber. So this is creating two 14 by 18 small square bales. DB double baler really interesting story here and I think it starts right at the front of the baler with the PTO. Take us there. Yep, so this is going to require a thousand PTO hookup. It's going to require a hundred and twenty horsepower PTO and we also have an adjustable hitch which is going to allow you to match this machine to your tractor. Hey, tell me about the pickup and gearbox. Actually, I, I, I think the pickup's from a bigger baler, right? Yeah, so the pickup on this is actually the same width as on our 3x3 three three large square baler. So that's going to help us. We also have some huge augers, which you will see. That's going to help us to get a larger windrow into that chamber and allow us to have the increased throughput and capacity that we can get on our smaller sized large square baler. We also have the gearbox on this that's that is outputting 90 strokes per minute, and it's gonna be the same gearbox that's on our proven design of our 1844S, which is our three-tie small square baler. Now help me get my head around this. This is a double baler, but only one plunger and one chamber. That's right, only one plunger and one chamber. So we're creating two 14-inch by 18-inch small square bales, but it's only going to have one large plunger bringing that crop up into the chamber. We then have a splitting knife that's going to end very close to the plunger, or the plunger is going to end very close to the knife, and that's going to be what's actually dividing that crop into two bales. One chamber as it comes out, but it has a separation wall. So as these bales are tied independently, then they're going to be pushed out, they have this wall that's separating them, and they're going to drop independently in the field from one another. Let's talk about the knotter. You said to me, hey, this is the real story here. Yeah, so we have an independent knotter trip on this machine, and that's extremely important in an inconsistent crop feed scenario. So if we're in these huge windrows of heavy straw or heavy first cutting, you're not going to have an inconsistent crop feed, and you're going to be able to tie your bales very consistently side by side. But whenever we get into those smaller windrows, maybe subsequent cuttings, and now we're looking at fourth, fifth, six cutting and we're getting into the smaller windrows, what this machine is going to do is it's going to tie each side of that bale independently. So it's going to keep that precise bale length that our Heston small square balers are known for and it's going to tie each side independently of one another. So if one side is feeding heavier than the other side, that side that's feeding heavier is going to tie more frequently than the side that's feeding less consistently. Yeah. So regardless of what's going on coming through the baler, we're going to get a precise size of bale. Absolutely. It's going to be precise. It's going to be the same length regardless of the side of the chamber that it's coming out of. Okay, let's finish up with a couple of quick options here. Um, the optional scales. Yes, so we do have optional scales. We have an optional dual scales, or you can just get a single scale on one side of the chute. We also have an option of two different chutes. We have a dual wide chute that's going to lay it twine up, or we have a quarter turn chute that's going to lay that bale on its side. And finally, this isn't an option. It comes standard on all of our 1436 DBs, and that is our Simply Bale system. So this is also available in any of our smaller 1800 small square balers, but it comes standard on this machine. And what that does is it allows you to have some of those large square baler features on this small square baler. So it tells you how fast to drive based on what your targeted bale weight is. It tells you what your flake consistency is, what your flake count in your bales are, what your flake width is. You also have the option to look at um, bale moisture. So there's a lot of different options. You can control the density from the cab. Um, you can control the auto lubing from the cab. 
Final thought, Jessica, and that is on availability. I know there's a lot of buzz about this baler. Yes. Uh, what about availability? Yeah, so um, this baler has really taken the commercial hay industry by storm. And at this point, we're looking at all of the orders that will be fulfilled in 25 have been completed. So now we're looking at 26 deliveries for any orders that are coming in. Well, Jessica, hey, uh, great story. Hey, thanks for sharing it with uh, my friends at Real Agriculture here at Commodity Classic. Appreciate your time. Yeah, thank you for having me.